Hey everybody, welcome back to the shop. Um, this is going to be another light review. Um, I'm going to make this short and sweet. I'm going to use a lux meter this time and I'll just compare this light. This is a garage light, another one of those garage lights. And I'm not going to compare it to the other garage light that I've reviewed so far just because I don't know if it would be fair um, because I think we're dealing with two different wattages here. But what I am going to do is I will compare it to what you would normally have in your uh, garage. Uh, a light such as the ones that are up here in my garage. If you look, right there I have a uh, CFL, you know, a large CFL. It's like a 100 watt equivalent or whatever. Um, and I will go ahead and compare it to this. Um, light here which is an 80 watt LED light. First I'm gonna go ahead and unbox this and we'll take a look and see what we get in this package. The brand is Nat Home and they did send this to me free of charge. They wanted me to evaluate it and make a video and they did specifically ask that I use a lux meter so I'm just going to use one on my uh, phone so it's not going to be anything super precise or anything but um, for comparison purposes, it'll be just fine. So you get some instructions here, a little thank you card, and then here is the product right here. We'll take get a, get a set of preliminary impressions here, if I can get it out of the box. Doing this one-handed. There we go. It's actually much bigger than it appears in the pictures on Amazon. Here we go. Now, what you have is the corncob style LED array on this aluminum. This whole panel is aluminum, so that's great for heat dissipation, I can tell. And um, so that'll be nice. I won't have to worry about heat buildup or anything getting too hot. These LEDs are mounted directly to a circuit board. And that looks like that circuit board is attached to the aluminum panel. These do articulate uh, up and down. So you can kind of spread the light out as needed. It does have some screws in the back here that you can use to tighten if it's a little too loose to fix it in position. And this screws into a regular E26 socket. So you should be able to use it for a variety of applications, not just in your garage. So that's how it looks. The, the build seems adequate. Uh, I like it. The body here is made out of plastic, but like I said, the panels are aluminum. And uh, so now what we're going to do is we're going to put this, uh, I'm going to install this in my garage and I'm going to compare it to a 100 watt equivalent CFL, just like that one there. Okay, so I stand corrected on the CFL that's currently lit right there. That is only a 24 watt CFL. That's what I've been using in my garage um, just for standby lights. Um, you've seen in my other videos that I use these LED, LED light beams here um, for my workshop lights. Um, so this is what the room looks like with these 24 watt CFLs. The ISO on my camera is set to 200 and the exposure is set to zero. And let me get a light meter reading. Right now, I'm standing about 10 feet away from the light. All right, so as you can see, I hold my light meter up to about eye height, and you can see it move around here, around the 20s. Obviously, if I point it directly into the light, it goes up really high, but again, at eye height, it kind of jumps around, right around 20, looking at the wall. So now I'm going to switch out with the Nat Home 80 watt LED garage light and we'll see if we can tell the difference between the two. So what you are now looking at is the Nat Home 80 watt garage light. I've got the wings extended up as far as they can go. I'm sure you can't really see what's going on up there, but they are touching the ceiling. Just for maximum spread, I guess you could call it, of light. 
As you can see, there is a difference in the brightness uh, in this area. Again, I'm standing in the same position I was as I was with the last light bulb. Okay, I've got the live reading on right now, and I think. If you take a look at this, the Lux now has increased by quite a bit, almost 10 times as much. Again, as if I can point the light meter to the light, it seems to be a little bit more consistent of an output. But, as you can tell, there's a lot more light coming out of one of these than you would get out of a single light bulb. So there you have it, the Nat Home 80 watt garage light. Uh, not too shabby. Especially if all you have in your garage are individual light bulbs in the light sockets. This fixture puts out an incredible amount of light. Roughly about 10 times the amount of light as a single bulb. So if you struggle, as I often do, fumbling around in a garage that's a little too dim, I would highly encourage you to look this up on Amazon. I'm going to leave a link below in the comment section and in the description. And if you act now, they are currently running a promotion, a coupon on Amazon for 15% off. And all you have to do is check the, the checkbox and it'll take that discount for you. So once again, Nat Home 80 watt garage light. This is what it looks like. It's definitely a step up from your conventional lighting and uh, it comes highly recommended. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will see you next time.